Good Friday. What's so good about it? Good Friday, a day that was filled with great pain and suffering, and because of that, we could ask ourselves, what's so good about it? Well, I believe that that is the day that God chose to pour His goodness all over us, over all mankind. It's the day that Jesus willingly went to the cross on our behalf. And by doing so, by shedding his blood, it covered all of our sins so that we have a rightful place in heaven if we so choose. It marks the day of the beginning of probably the most momentous weekend in history. The crucifixion is one of the most, if not the most, horrific ways of death that there is. And what touches me so much is even from the cross, Jesus was thinking of others. He, was, he had you on his mind. The first thing out of his mouth after he has been severely beaten and a crown of thorn placed on his head and hanging from nails in his hands and his feet, the first thing that he says is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And so, sometimes in life, maybe the lows help us appreciate the highs. And three days after Good Friday, it's, it's amazing what can happen in three days. But God conquered death and sin once and for all because on Easter Sunday Jesus was risen from the dead and to show that death uh, can't keep him down he we serve a living God and he loves you so much even if you were the only one walking on earth he would have given that sacrifice for you it's a day that also assures us, those who believe in Jesus Christ, it assures you a happily ever after, forever with God and Jesus, and an eternity that is um, void of evil and pain and suffering. It's something to look forward to because you know the best is yet to come. So that's what's good about Good Friday. Enjoy today. If you have never read the Easter accounts in the Bible or accepted Christ as your Savior, my prayer is for your sake, you will do so today and not wait one minute longer. Have a blessed Good Friday.